What's going on guys, National Master James Cantor III here, and today we're looking at Crushing B3, the Larson system. Uh, we got a FM, we played a Fide Master, let's get right into it guys. So we played an FM in this game, and we're going to show you exactly what happened. So we have another video, um, very similar, I think we beat an IM, and sort of the same line, which is crazy how titled players play this line actually wrong here. So we play E5 against this so i'm actually going to put this this is the second video in the playlist so let's see it bishop b2 knight c6 e3 d5 regular stuff this is still theory bishop b5 and bishop d6 i like this theory here and then after f4 we play this interesting move guys f6 you also have knight f3 as a move as well knight f3 is another move and f4 are usually the main moves here you also have c4 as another move but f4 is what he chose i went for f6 if you check in the other game this is exactly the same so far what happened? He took on he took the pawn. I take back. He takes on c6, just like the international master did in the other video. B takes c6, and then he takes on e5. At this point, I knew the game was over. This is a wrap, just like that. The game's already over. Bishop takes e5, guys. What do you actually do in this position? Pause the video if you need to. Take a second or two. What do you do? It's a two-move sequence. What are you going to do? Here it is, guys. Queen h4 check. Here it is. Bam. It's on the board. Queen h4. So if bishop g3, that's just no good because we're going to take it with our bishop here. And this is uh, this is pinned here. So that's going to be bad. And, of course, if you do anything else but g3, I'm going to take the bishop. I'm going to take it. His idea, of course, why don't I just take the bishop back, you're asking. If I take, he plays queen h5, and then he wins this pawn because that's what he wanted to do. He wanted to go this route. So let's go back. Queen h4 stops now. Queen h5 check. So after g3, now we have queen e4. Just like in the other video, guys, we got this far. So make sure you check that one out too. Queen e4 hitting the rook and the bishop at the same time. The best move is actually bishop takes g7. So when he took on d6, I knew it was already over. I mean, I already knew it was over after bishop takes e5, but uh, this was definitely not a, a move that I've seen before. You know, that's just not a move. So bishop takes d6, queen takes each one, uh, queen takes h1. Queen h5 check and then king d7. Actually, I had king d8 was a little bit better, but I'm used to putting a king on d7 or e7 in this line. So d7 is not the best. King d8 is actually better. Then we have king f2. He's getting out of the way. He's also stopping me from taking the knight. Usually in this line, I will be able to take on g3 like in the other game, but he eliminated that bishop. So I needed to take something. So I'm like, yeah, let me just take this bishop. And at first I was worried about my queen being trapped with knight f3, but he can't move his knight. He can't move it because the rook's hanging. So he actually played knight c3 anyway, but still, if he moves the knight, then this is hanging. So he's probably going to play like rook d1 or e1 or f1 to try to keep me uh, locked in. So immediately I play knight f6. Now I was scared of queen f7. Queen f7 was this very, very, very scary, uh, scary square to be on, you know. Um, because uh, queen f7 is check and like, you know, that's what he did too. Like, check this out. Queen f7, queen g7 is about to be taken and I don't have anywhere to put my king. But d8, that's the only move. So king d8, and then queen takes g7. So here I was thinking for a while, was that should I play queen takes h2? Which this is a strong move, especially if he goes king f3 or e1. But he has king f1, which isn't the best. Let's see what the engine says. Okay, they say knight g4. Queen takes h2 is a move, and then king f1, rook g8, takes queen f6. Let's see that line. Yeah, this was all, this what I was looking at, but I didn't I didn't know. Like I just wasn't. I was like, ah, that's probably better. So what did I play? I played knight g4 check. Knight g4 check, king to e2, uh, and then after king e2, queen g2 check, guys. I mean, this is move 16. It's looking crazy. Also, a piece count here. I'm up a piece right now. So this is why I went for this line because at least I knew I was gonna still be up a piece. So queen g2 check, king d3, and here we go, guys. What's the move? What did you play? What will you play here? What are you going to play, guys? Pause the video. What is the move here? There's many moves you can make, actually. What are you going to play? Here it is. After king d3, guys. Here it is. We hit this man with a move. King d3. Knight e5. And we live. Very nice. Knight e5 check, big fella. If you go king d4, get the man off the board. Oh my goodness. This is a family channel. That hurts right there. That's made in the center of the board. Have you ever made it a king in the center of the board? Okay, you probably have, but maybe not. Maybe you've been made it in the center of the board, but this is very nice. C5 is made. 
So actually, I missed a move. I thought I saw knight f2 check, but uh, and actually king d4 is, is made once again. I didn't even actually I didn't see this line. What the line I didn't see though was king e2. This is what the engine gave king e2, knight e4 check. After 94 check, and then it's made no matter what. I didn't even see this. I did not see that line. So if you saw knight f2, good for you because that's very nice. Um, that was, but I saw knight f2. I just didn't see the follow up. I actually didn't see 94. Let's put that on the screen too, just in case you want to know why. King e1 check here, and then king here, and queen takes d2 is made. Okay. How about another line? Okay. How about a uh, king d3? King d3 made in one. Doesn't matter. King d1 same thing. Doesn't matter. Made everywhere, right? Made everywhere. But I went this route because I knew I was getting a queen. Like, yes, this should be an easy win. Because king here is mate. So he takes. Queen takes e5. And then I hit this man with an in-between tween. Okay, a zhishin zug, an in-between move. Bishop a6. King has nowhere to run. If he goes up, it's mate once again. Oh my goodness, what a game. I love playing against his opening some days. Some days. Some. Knight to b5. And then after knight b5, hit that man with bishop takes b5. King c3. And then takes... And the game was over, and he resigned right here, guys. That is the Larson system. This is how you beat it. Of course, we're going to be... I'm going to post more videos as I get more games, guys. So the more Larson system games that I get, the more I'm going to post for you guys. So you can check it out and understand. Again, let's go through the game one more time here. B3, E5, Knight, C6, defending the E5 pawn. Then you have E3 and then D5. So this is usual. You want to have a strong center. Then after Bishop to B5, we play Bishop D6. Best way to defend the pawn and develop at the same time. F4 is a nice move attacking the center, and we have ways to defend it. F6 is one of the strongest, but you got to be careful here, guys, because like, we're playing an F pawn out early. So you have to uh, you have to know what you're doing in these situations here, but F6 is a real move. Takes, takes, and the move is actually supposed to be knight F3 here, and I think they have queen H5 check, but uh, bishop takes C6 is very premature. Takes, and it thinks that he wins the pawn. I mean, guys, this guy's an FM, Fide Master, very strong. Queen H4, G3, Queen E4. Bishop takes d6, uh, queen takes h1, queen h5 check, gets wild here. I take my material back, and then I go knight f6 to keep developing. He's forking my knight and my rook. Knight g4 was my favorite move because it's check. Well, this wasn't my favorite move, but this was a very nice move to make. Knight g4 is defended by the by the bishop, and my, I can move my rook when I need to. But I didn't need to, actually. Check, and then check here. Knight f2 is much better. He had to take again because mate is on c5. Takes, takes, and uh, takes check, and then knight b5 takes and takes, guys. So watch this video over and over again. Watch the other one, too, as well, connected to this video in the playlist. This is the second one for the Larson system, guys. But um, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, of course, uh, like the video, subscribe, put comments under the video, share it, all that other good stuff. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for being a part of this, and I'll see you on the next video.